Hey everybody, welcome back to Midwest Melters. My name is Matt, and today we're going to melt some copper. It's been a little bit since we did it, and there's been a bunch of new subscribers. So uh, we're going to go through the process real quick, and uh, we'll kind of show you how it goes. So my furnace of choice is a Devil Forge. Many other brands out there couldn't tell you anything about those. This is what I'm familiar with. Works pretty good. So uh, that's what it looks like inside. Mine's been pretty well used. I need to uh, reline it. So anyway, there's a fire brick in the bottom, piece of cardboard you'll want to set your crucible on for the first time here, and so uh, it won't stick. Uh, there's your gas valve on and off, and then that controls how much air you got going into the burner. Obviously a propane tank with a gauge will be about 0.2. Whenever we uh, get the furnace going up to melting temperature, we've got fire brick for our molds. I haven't got them out yet. Fire brick to set our crucible on whenever we get it out of the furnace. Uh, there's a stir stick if need be. All the copper we're going to melt. My silicon carbide crucible. There's a pair of tongs to put more wire in. I'm going to try that instead of just dropping it in. Here is my pouring tongs. And then this is my set of tongs to get it out of the um, out of the furnace. So I'm gonna put you guys up on the tripod and uh, we're gonna light it and get going. All right guys, let's get started. So what we're gonna do first, down here, I'm gonna set the crucible in there on top of a piece of cardboard, put on the fire break. Just like that. Now, I'm going to light this piece of cardboard. And just crack this with the air in the clothes. Give it a little more pressure. I'm gonna start this off slow because my uh, my crucible's been sitting on the shelf for a little bit, so I'm gonna work on getting some of that uh, moisture out of it before we really hit it with the fire. So I give it a little more air. You can kind of hear it starting, kind of heating up. I can see the moisture coming out of the furnace itself. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid and uh, just let it sit there like that for a while. Make sure it's good and dry. like that it's probably gonna be a little loud since we're inside uh, I'm gonna open a window here in just a minute get a little draft through here and uh, we'll back shortly all right guys it's been a couple minutes so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring it up to where we're gonna melt at I think I said I was gonna take it to point two that's my mistake it's only I'm only gonna go to point one on the gauge
All right, guys, we're gonna let that get liquidy, and uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, it's kind of went down a little bit, so now what we're gonna do is shut the furnace off and uh, add a little bit more copper. All Then all you gotta do is just turn your gas back on and it'll take right off.
All right, guys. We were pretty close. We had just a little bit left in the bottom of the crucible. But uh, now what you want to do is take the crucible, put it back in the furnace. And shut the lid. So what you're what you're doing there is trying to avoid the rapid cooling of your crucible. If you can cool it off real slow, it'll last a lot longer. All right, guys, it appear to be pretty hot. So, all right, I'm going to let them cool off and then uh, come back and uh, dump them out, clean them up with a wire brush, and uh, we'll weigh them up and see what they look like. All right, guys, let's see if these will come out of here. Still extremely hot. Oh, yeah, that would come out easy. The handle's very hot. I fell through my glove. But... Looks to be a good pour. I'm gonna let them sit there and cool off, and uh, then we'll go away. All right, guys, we got them over here. The scales, they're still super hot, so I'm just gonna put them on here by hand with my gloves. First one is one pound even. Next one, one pound, five ounces, so a pound and a half. And the big guy, four pounds, 14 ounces, which gives us a total of seven pounds, four ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to uh, kilograms. 3.30 kilograms. All right, guys, that's all we're going to do for today. So uh, smash that like button for me. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment, good or bad. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm, I'm no expert by any means, but I'll be more than glad to try to give you a hand or help you out. And uh, thank you for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber, please consider it. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.